매번 야야야야야 불러 널 야야야야 내 맘을 고백하려고 타이밍만 보는 나 그런 나를 안 보면 왜 그러냐고 묻네 너 때문에 You were walking in the air, feeling stares of all kinds from the people around you. You knew the decision you took was very weird and illogical, so you were already expecting all of these things, which were happening to you right now. Yes, marrying the person you knew nothing about was never going to be the best decision of your life, but you reassured your heart, thinking nothing bad is going to happen to you, when he himself reassured you. You were marrying the John Jungkook. Your story was not about unicorns and rainbows, but you were willing to make it one. His mother happened to be admitted in your hospital, and since she liked him most, here you are being dragged on the altar. And you know the fun part? He has a girlfriend. A girlfriend who is missing from a couple of weeks before you both even met. God knows what she is going through and what role your soon-to-be husband will be playing when he will find her out. Just so that you know, he loves her insanely. So why did you marry him? Oh, easy peasy. The soft kinded hearted fool you are. This man was ready to get on his knees for you to marry him. Although he himself did not want to marry you when he got to know about his mother's heart condition, he was in front of you joining his hand. Your chain of thought broke when you were standing in front of him and he forwarded his hands to you so that you could climb the stairs and go close to him to start the matrimony. Oh wait, did I tell you about how you both are going to terminate this marriage? Obviously none of you is in love with each other, so it was obvious. You both planned on being friends, showing affection to the public, so his mother is happy. But soon you'll act like things are not working in both of you. Jungkook will play sad boy role and you'll play I can't help it. He doesn't give me time girl role. Both of you will part on good notes and that's how it will end everything up. He complimented you. He was holding your palm in his and smiling slightly at you. And it would be a lie if you say that you just did not make you switch roles and stick to him for your entire life. Oh hey, since you are helping him treat his mother good, if that's what makes her happy, he is respecting you a lot and you are respecting him because he is ready to sacrifice his love for his parents. Here he is not getting treated pathetically. Surprising, isn't it? You looked towards the people sitting on their chairs and you spotted Jungkook's parents on the very first row, smiling and waving at you cutely, which made you chuckle lightly. She is not your favorite patient for no reason, if something like that exists. Talking about the people attending wedding, you just called a few friends of yours as this marriage will get called off soon, but you wanted to make Jungkook's mom believe that you both are serious, and since you were bought up in an orphanage she called the sister present there. Jungkook held your hands tightly and turned towards the priest who was smiling brightly at the both of you. Soon he started the rituals and you both took your vows. The priest gestured and Jungkook slid the ring in your ring finger. You felt his hand trembling and his body hesitating but he did it anyways. Now it was your turn. You just slid the ring in his finger and you looked at him. He was biting his lips and you already knew why he was doing so. He literally was committed already, but there he was getting married to you. You gently patted his hand while caressing it and Jungkook nodded his head slowly. Oh, 
Wow, now that was awful. Well, you never thought about this moment before. And now, when this moment was right here, you did not know what to do. How will he kiss you? Hell, will he even kiss you? What about his girlfriend? Won't she be angry? But she's... He looked at Jungkook and he scooted closer to you, giving you a reassuring smile. If others see you doing this, they might think you both are really a cute thing to be talked about. But they don't know really what's going on between both of you. Like a puppet, you followed him and felt him removing your veil, which was not really even covering your face. That transparent shit. You felt his breath on your face and you clutched your hands on your gown. Not like you have never kissed before, but you did not just kiss a billionaire before.